Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy James from What's Your Forte, and today I'm going to be upgrading the RAM in my 2012 MacBook Pro. I ordered the TimeTech 16 gig kit, 16 gig of RAM kit. So um, the link will be in the description below if you're interested in picking up this kit for your MacBook to upgrade the RAM to 16 gigabytes. There. I also, to assist me in the install, picked up the Q9 accessory kit comes with all the screwdrivers and all the materials you need to take apart MacBook and do anything you need to do to it on the inside. So I picked up that kit. The link to that kit will be down in the description below as well. So this current MacBook has eight gigs of RAM and um, I do all my editing on it. I know it's an old MacBook, but hey, it's what I got. So I got to use what I got until I can, until I can upgrade. And if you look at my channel, I've done all the videos on my channel on this MacBook. Even though it's an older MacBook, it's still quite capable of doing some video editing. It is very slow on the render times, but you know, hey, you gotta, you kind of take it how it goes, right? So let's go ahead and get into the install and let's do it. So here's my desktop here. So what I want to do is show you exactly what's on my Mac now, then show you afterwards so you can kind of see the upgrade. So click on a little Apple symbol here, go to about this Mac. Um, it says right here, Mac OS Mojave, 13 inch, mid 2012, 2.9 gigahertz Intel Core i7, um, eight gigs of RAM. So we're gonna be upgrading this to 16 gigs. So when we finish, this should read 16 gigs of RAM, all right? So that's what shows there. So let's go ahead and shut the computer down. I will say go ahead and make sure you back up your computer in case anything goes wrong. I have mine already backed up, so we'll go ahead and shut this computer down here. Make sure you want to shut it down, then you'll click yes there. All right, so now the MacBook is shut off. So now what you want to do is flip it over and when you flip it over, you're gonna see there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 screws on the back. All right, so the 10 screws on the back, these screws that are closest to the hinge are the longest. So you wanna definitely um, take these screws out first, the longer screws out first. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now let's go ahead and open up the Q9 kit that I got here so we can get the proper screw driver that I need. So, open that like so. And let's go ahead and get out. Looks like you need a Phillips, which they include in here. So I'll go ahead and take this tool and then we are going to see that screw right there. Pretty much gonna take that right out. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, screws, screw is out there. So what I'm going to do now is put this to the side and do this for all of them. Now I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up so you don't have to sit here and watch me take out all of these screws because that would be kind of irritating. So let's go ahead and take care of that and enjoy the time lapse. So now we have all the screws out. So now you should be able to just pick it up from one side and lift this back cover right off. All right, so here is the insides of our MacBook Pro. Have a fan here, um, you have a couple of components here. This is the uh, optical drive for DVD. Um, if you look closely right there, you see the Samsung 860 um, SSD that I installed, which is super, super fast. Definitely recommend you to pick one of those up if you can. Link to the one I bought 
down in the description below. Super, super fast SSD. Just brings your MacBook back to life there. So we actually need to turn this around so I can kind of show you where the old RAM is. So if you look right there, that is the old RAM. So what we're going to need have to do is unplug the, the power. And then once we unplug the power, then we'll be able to take the RAM out. All right. So to unplug the power, this is the little power plug here. So you want to unplug that. I got a little plastic trim tool that I use on my BMW and I'm going to use that to unplug it because they say that you usually don't want to do it with your hand um, just to, I guess, for electromagnetic shock or anything like that or do anything. So I'm just going to kind of pick it up, put it up in here. Boom. Now it's wedged out there. So it's no longer connected. And I'll just leave that there as a kind of a placeholder. So now in order to get access to the RAM, these two little two little arms right here, we're just going to push them back and you kind of hear that click and boom, you see the RAM just pop right up. So now we're going to pull the old RAM out. And these are four gigs, four gigabit um, strips here. So we're just going to pull those right out, lay them off to the side. And then I'm going to do the same thing to get the next one out. Kind of, kind of pull it to the side there, and then eh, it's giving me a little trouble. My hands are kind of big, so it's a little tough for me to get in some of some of these areas. Yeah, I just locked it back in place. There we go. So now, y'all bear with me. Yeah what happens when you have big hands trying to do some of this stuff there it goes it's kind of popped up there man I'm kind of struggling here there it goes very very simple there for most people they wouldn't have this problem um, I just have big hands so it's hard for me to get in some of these smaller areas boom now it's out <laughs> y'all y'all watch me struggle there for a little bit but it's out so now I got my two older RAM strips right there. So now it's time to open the TimeTech RAM and get that installed into this bad boy. So let's do on, let's go to that. All right, so now we got the TimeTech RAM packaging open right there. So let's go ahead and pull one of them out. So what you wanna do is there's gonna be these teeth as you see right here on the RAM. It's gonna have these teeth right here. So you kinda of wanna line that up with the teeth that's right in here. So for the bottom portion here, going at an angle, you'll kinda of feel it, kinda of engage in there. And then you kinda of wanna push down on it. So, and you'll feel that it's in there. It kinda of grabs it. Now, we wanna do the same thing to this. So kind of go in at an angle there, make sure the teeth are lined up, you push it in, you'll feel it. Boom, you hear that little click there. That lets you know that it's in there, it's secure. It doesn't feel like it's going anywhere. So now the RAM's in there. So now we've got to hook back up the power plot, power support. Not power support, power plug here. I'm just gonna push down on that. Make sure that's firm. Everything feels good. So now we're just gonna put the back back plate back on the MacBook, put all the screws back in, then I'm gonna power it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the back plate on, go ahead and put the screws back on in, and then I'll, then I'll cut, I'll come back to you all, show you how the computer boots up, make sure it boots up fine, and give you a video of that, all right? So give me one second. All right, so now I got all the screws back in, I'm gonna go ahead and open the MacBook here, power it back on. making that wonderful Apple MacBook noise there. Booting up pretty fast there. All right, he's asking me to enter my password. Let me go ahead and do that off camera. All right, so now my Mac is powered back on. Um, Everything looks normal, so now let's go check out what the uh, About My Mac setting says. All right, RAM is installed. 
Let's go check and see if the computer recognizes the new 16 gigabits of RAM. So click on the Apple symbol here about this Mac. And boom, 16 gigs of 1600 megahertz DDR3 RAM. So RAM has been upgraded. So I've upgraded the RAM on this card. I've also upgraded it to a one terabyte SSD. So this is um probably about as, up, well, it's not as upgradable as it can be. I could take out the optical drive and install another SSD, do a couple of things there. Um, I don't know if I'll do that or not, but, you know, it's an option. So at least I have options with this um, 20, mid-2012 13-inch MacBook Pro. So there you have it. So the, the install is complete. If you have any questions, have any concerns, please let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm going to be doing more tech reviews. I've been doing very, I'm real heavy on my car stuff here lately, but this channel, is going to, this channel is about cars and tech. I love cars. I love tech. So that's what this channel is going to be about. All right. So remember to subscribe, like, comment, follow me on Instagram, underscore what's your forte, and I'll holler at you guys later. Peace.